Inflation has hit the U.S. economy hard and animals across the Pine Belt have suffered as a result. And shelters are struggling to keep up with the financial demands of keeping the animals well cared for. Ellie Davis spoke with shelters across the Pine Belt about how they are making ends meet. Across the Pine Belt, you can find a number of cats and dogs looking for their forever homes. But so many are doing it from inside of overcrowded shelters. A problem not only seen here in our state, but across the country. From stray pets to unplanned, unwanted litters of puppies and kittens, um, the number of animals needing assistance is really overwhelming. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says more than 6 million dogs and cats are put into shelters every year and hundreds of thousands don't make it out alive. And the ASPCA says that due to inflation, adoption numbers are down and the number of owner surrenders is up. And shelters here in the Pine Belt are struggling to keep up. Everybody that works in the rescue community is tired. They are exhausted. They are stretched to the end with financial um, help. Um, it's like every day that I'm begging people to donate because that's how we survive is through donations. So if we don't have donations, we don't have a rescue. And then the 85 to whatever we were taking in a month goes down to nothing. And then what happens to those animals? They have nowhere to go. While the economy has struggled, shelters have too. The ASPCA estimates that it costs nearly $1,400 annually to own a dog and roughly $1,100 to own a cat. And inflation has only made pet care more expensive. We've had more um, calls for surrender appointments than we ever have. We've had less adoptions locally than we've had before, plus our transports have gone down a lot. So um, we don't have as many places to take our animals. As shelters continue to struggle, they are asking that you remember the importance of assessing your finances before adopting a pet and spay or neuter the ones you have to prevent uncontrolled breeding. And don't forget to measure in the cost of spaying or neutering the pets you have so the whole family can live their best life. In Hattiesburg, Ellie Davis, WDAM 7, on your side. Pet adoptions soared in 2020, according to the ASPCA, but as pet owners return to work and return to the office and pre-pandemic lifestyles, a record number of animals are being surrendered by their owners. 